everyone likes to have a great looking dashboard but none of them want to wait for it to load hi everyone and welcome back to tech engine in today's video we are going to talk about how you can accelerate your dashboard and thus improve the performance of it as well the performance of the dashboard speaks about how good of a tableau developer you are so in today's video i would like to share with you guys all the tips and tricks that can actually help you build a faster loading as well as interacting dashboard why you are trying to enhance the performance of your dashboard your priority is to reduce the lag and to increase user adaptability if you are able to give your user the information on their fingertips without they being able to wait for a thing to load they are always going to stick with that product for the purpose of this video i am going to divide everything into four sections my first section is data second section is sheets dashboard and followed by server the first section which is the data data plays a very very important role on your dashboard and i'm sure you all would agree right now what are the things that you can do at a data level or at a data source level that can help improve your dashboard performance the first one is to use data extracts avoid using live connections to the source rather try to use extracts make sure the extracts refresh as and when they are needed so if for example your stakeholder is looking for a daily data load you can refresh your extracts on a daily basis rather than keeping them as a live connection extracts are always faster than a live connection avoid multiple sources now this is one of the major reasons that uses a lot of workers on your dashboard if you limit using relationships and data blends and rather have everything that you need pre-built in your data source then your dashboard is definitely going to be faster i am not saying that you have to completely disregard the use of relationships and data blends but if you are dealing with a larger data source the idea is to have everything in one place in one single source of truth so that you can use that one source to build your dashboard rather than these things getting computed on the go while the user is interacting with the dashboard use aggregated data now when you start interacting with your clients for a particular engagement or a dashboard make sure you understand what granularity of data is required and if you should aggregate the data at the source level itself for example if your user is looking for a month level data then there is no point of bringing daily data into the dashboard you can aggregate all the data at a month level and then bring that to dashboard in tableau you also have a feature to aggregate data on the go you could use and leverage that as well inject only the fields that are required there are a lot of fields that we bring in along with the table which might not be used on the dashboard hiding all these unused fields in the source itself always help to fasten up the entire dashboard load finally using an incremental refresh if your source only gets appended with latest records and you don't have to refresh your existing records in the database in this scenario you can always use an incremental refresh there is also an option in tableau to use incremental refresh these are faster and can help you load the dashboard much easier and in a faster way also always remember to use extract or data source filters these filters are first executed before anything else gets executed on the dashboard because of which they tremendously help in improving your performance for example you're only looking at a particular region of data in your 
dashboard. You don't need to bring in all the region's data. You could put an extract filter or a data source level filter and then ingest only a specific region's data and work on it. Section two, which is around worksheets. So now that your data is all clean, you know what all you need, you've already aggregated it and you've hidden all the unused fields and you ingest this data into a Tableau workbook, you start building some worksheets or sheets as we call them. Now, here are some tips that you can follow again at a worksheet level to make sure that your dashboards load faster. Try to use context filters. Context filters are great. For example, if you have a KPI that only shows a particular year's profit, you can always add that year as a context filter onto your dashboard. This way, you help Tableau to not go through each and every year and then compute this value. It would only load it for the current year or the year for which you are looking the KPI for. Always restrict the fields on the filter shelf. While we are exploring with a particular sheet on the dashboard, a lot of time it happens that we keep pulling up filters onto the shelf and then we do not remove them out of it. Remember, everything that's on the filter shelf is always loaded again when the sheet is loaded on the dashboard. So it really takes some amount of time for your dashboard to load if there are a lot of things on the filter shelf. Make sure that you use as less calculated fields as possible. If you know that there are certain things that can be pre-calculated and brought into the data at a source level, then always try to use them rather than doing all the calculations on the go. For example, you are using an if else statement to calculate if a particular date is following in the first fortnight or the second fortnight of the month I would recommend you to pre-calculate this in your data source and only then bring that to your dashboard. Try to use booleans. As you know, booleans are true or false or zero and one. These are much faster compared to strings and dates. You can also avoid sorting because every time you sort something, there is a computing that goes behind to uh, engage your dashboard with that. If you want to sort something in advance, you can always use the default sorting, which is the same as how the data is sorted at your source level. You can always pre-sort your data as well. Finally, be aware of the impact that count distinct has on your dashboard. Count distinct usually takes more time to compute than a count. See if you can add certain context filters to get to the same distinct values if possible. If some of these are unavoidable and you can't do without them, you can always use them. But I'm just letting you know that some of these things would take higher amount of time compared to the other. The third section, which is the most important one, is the dashboard. Now dashboard is a place where you bring in all your data in the form of multiple worksheets that can interact with one another. So a dashboard is a playground. You can load it with as much information and worksheets as you would want. Cross filtering impacts loading of the dashboard and its interactivity. Every sheet on the dashboard doesn't need to act as filter. Using tabular views as filter is an absolute no-no because if you have 10 columns in your table, each of the combinations of those columns is going to be saved as a filter on the shelf. It's going to take a lot of time for you to do the cross filtering if you use a tabular view as filter. Use parameters. These are much faster than filters and actions. They reduce the initial load time till an action is performed on the dashboard. You can also use a show hide view option either using a parameter or using a container button. Imagine if you have a table of details which doesn't need to load at the first when the dashboard loads. You can always keep that view hidden 
so whenever the dashboard loads for the very first time that table will not load along with the other elements of the dashboard this will help reduce the first load time of the dashboard try to have minimal action filters also avoid using hyperlinks and putting dashboards on tooltips all of these would take some amount of resources so these were some of the tips that you can do at a dashboard level now moving on to the server side always try to publish your data sources rather than embedding the source in the workbook if you do so you can substantially improve the load time of your dashboard and also the interactivity as i said in my data section as well use extract refreshes you do not need to have a live connection every time you can have an extract refresh that caters to the need of your audience you can always use accelerators accelerators work at a dashboard level and they can greatly help in improving the speed of your dashboard if you are using a live connection make use of row level security this way you do not have to create versions for different users and the most important one is to always upgrade to the latest or the newest version because it would have the most bugs fixed with some improvements towards the performance now what's next we understood that these are the four important sections and the areas where you can improve your dashboard's performance but all of this boils down to a few more additional things that you should always do communication with your stakeholder is key if your stakeholders want you to build a taj mahal but if that's not possible to be built at the speed at which they are expecting you to build them you need to call it out and tell them that these are the processes that are going to take time always maintain tableau desktop versions if you are going to publish your dashboard to the server with a published data source make sure that you create a duplicate copy of a desktop version and only then go ahead and publish that to the server this way if there are any field changes or any new additional fields that want to be added into the dashboard later on at any point of time you will not have to bring the entire source down to your local instead you could just use that desktop version which you already created and can avoid a lot of rework always design in a phased approach build your dashboard and test them in phases or batches so that if there's something that goes wrong if something is taking more time you always know the previous version to which you can roll back to using a phased approach always helps and finally keep it clean like your desktop if your dashboard is clean it is simple with minimal stuff it is going to take the least amount of time i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did don't forget to hit the subscribe button i'm always going to be around if you have any questions or concerns please don't forget to message me i will reach out to you and help you in any sorts possible again don't forget to hit the subscribe button and do like the video if you really found it interesting thank you so much for watching techianshi